governor's plan has been underway now for four days and there has already been plenty of controversy. Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo launched a website urging residents to report businesses that violate orders. Channel 2's Hannah McKenzie live now in Northwest Harris County with how all of this is impacting businesses there. Hannah? Dominique, this plaza pretty much has it all. Hair places, nail places, restaurants, boutiques, you name it. All of the business owners I spoke with here today say they are complying with Governor Greg Abbott's uh, order. However, all of them said they do not support this new website, which is basically used to report other businesses who aren't complying. Small business owners taking an economic beating. Your rent still due, your utilities are still due, you have to buy supplies. Jerry Sarmiento, owner of Mezzanote Restaurante, initially laid off about half his staff. The 15-year-old business staying afloat mainly by to-go order. You just tell me what time you want to pick it up. Sarmiento and wife Adriana making changes to comply with Governor Greg Abbott's executive orders. So total we remove 50% of the table. Limited now to just 25 customers at a time. It was a retooling and adapting very, very fast. We had no choice and we did it. Some didn't. Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo urging residents to report businesses violating the governor's orders. There's a website to do so. You are wanting to file a complaint regarding the restaurant or bar. And a hotline. I would not report other businesses. Deanne Gummelt, owner of Splash of Sass Boutique, questioning the constitutionality of it all. It reminds me of uh, pre-World War II Germany people snitching on each other. I think it's awful. For many, Sarmiento says the risk of being reported outweighs the alternative. You have to put, uh, you know, bread on the table. And uh, if your business is failing uh, because you can open, uh, it's, it's a very, it's, it is very difficult. Judge Hidalgo declined to speak with us today, but her office did tell me they've had 450 complaints of businesses not complying with the order since Friday. For more information, you can head to our website, click2houston.com, and find this story. Reporting live in Northwest Harris County, Hannah McKenzie, KPRC, Channel 2 News. And